For those who have missed the story to this point, last summer I took ownership of this, an F-150 Lightning Lariat Extended Range. It came with a Ford Charge Station Pro included as part of the vehicle sale. I then decided to add the Ford Home Integration System, which allows you to use the battery in this to back up all of the things in that. And well, if you've watched this channel for any length of time, you'll know there's been some issues. And I'm not talking about the rooster making a loud noise off camera. This system has not reliably worked from the day I've had it. There've been occasions where I've been able to get it to work by, by faking a broken power connection from the grid, or essentially just turning breakers off and tricking the truck into thinking that there was a power cut, therefore coaxing it into providing power to the house. But invariably when we've had poor weather or an actual power cut or something else, well, it just, didn't work. So instead, I've been going through this lengthy troubleshooting process with Ford, with Sunrun, and pulling my metaphorical hair out in the process. In the last video on this channel in which I talked about this and this not wanting to work together, I came up with a theory that maybe it had something to do with the internet. And I surmised that maybe the home integration system needed to talk to the internet before power could start being transferred from the truck to the house. I learned today, as of the time of filming this, that that's not actually true. So I'd like to correct that theory, which I think I made fairly clear was a theory at the time. That's not how it works. I've heard from Sunrun directly that instead, there's a Bluetooth connection made between the truck and the Ford Home Integration System, or rather the Charge Station Pro. So the Ford Home Integration System and the Charge Station Pro talk to the truck, the truck responds, and then after all of the safety protocols have been gone through, power starts to flow from the truck to the house. And the issue that we were having was that that station was not properly talking to that truck. And what we ended up with was a truck that said, I'm getting ready to provide power and a home integration system that would go, I am ready. And it not actually going any further than that. Earlier today, we had a team of engineers, lovely chaps from Sunrun come over and they took off the cover on the Charge Station Pro and they had a poke and a prod. They confirmed that yes, it's been properly installed. They confirmed that yes, everything seems okay from their end. And instead, looks like there might be an issue with the truck. In order for the communication to go between the charging station and the truck, we need a Bluetooth connection. It turns out there is a known bug with Bluetooth connectivity on the F-150 Lightning. It's something that they've seen again and again and again. And after resetting the charge station and also the home integration system and making sure that that was all functioning properly, we successfully were able to initiate a charging session. I don't want to jinx it, but at the time of filming this, this truck has been powering my entire home for about two and a half hours. We started off with a 95% fully charged battery, and now it's sitting at about 80% and change. So we've pulled a significant amount of power. We've been running the server room. We've been running the air conditioning. I've been running the well. I've been using the bathroom, all of that stuff. And yes, I know you might not think that using the bathroom uses any power, but here in the country, because we have a septic system that's off grid and we have a well pump system that's off grid with not just one, but two well pumps, you need power to do all of those very basic things. I've been editing video. Michael has been out of the office, but I've been charging his car up just off camera. And again, no issues. While the Sunrun engineer has got the system working right now, without that update, it could fail at any point. In fact, while we were testing it earlier today, the longest period I saw was about 20 minutes before they finally were able to get the system to behave itself and last for the two and a half ish hours that it's currently achieved. That said, without the update from Ford, 
It could fail at any moment. I have it on good authority from the Sunrun engineers that there is no phoning home as I'd incorrectly surmised in a previous video. Remember, that was just my Occam's razor explanation. It was the first thing I asked them when they arrived and I said, no, that's wrong. So I'm making this video to correct what I had surmised in that previous video and say, nope, past Nikki, you were in fact wrong. But it does look like there might be hope in the future. Now, what I have learned today is that there is an error with the Bluetooth connection on the truck and it's a fairly common problem. The engineers have seen it several times. And there is an update that is being readied for deployment for all F-150 Lightnings that will address the issue where the Bluetooth in the back of the cab drops the connection to the charging station. As I said, it's a fairly well-known common problem and fingers crossed that update, which is due to roll out shortly I think that's all I can say. I don't know exactly when it's going to roll out and I don't want anybody to hold me to it, but I've been told there is an update on the way very soon that will address this issue and hopefully, fingers crossed, stop the charging station from just randomly disconnecting from the truck or rather stop the truck from randomly disconnecting from the charging station. If the truck stops talking to the charge station pro, all bets are off, everything stops working and your home is no longer backed up. But I've got to say, so far, so good. Like I say, they've been gone about two and a half hours and everything seems to be working as it should. This is not the end though. We're going to wait for the software update to be pushed to the truck. When that has been pushed to the truck, fingers crossed it will solve the problem and fingers crossed we'll finally not have a very expensive paperweight on the side of the house we'll actually have a backup power system that we've paid a significant amount of money for. And on that note, we are done with today's video. Thank you to Sunrun for sending out two lovely engineers to try and solve the problem. They've been dealing with Ford and hopefully Ford will pick up where they've left off and be able to send an over the air update very shortly to make this truck happier than it currently is. If you have comments, I'd love to know if you have one of these systems and if it works, please let us know in the comments below or you can drop us a polite note through Discord. You can reach out to us on Mastodon. You can also leave a comment through the Patreon page if you are in fact a Patreon subscriber. If you do want more, subscribe, hit that bell and follow the links below to regularly support us with a YouTube membership or a Patreon subscription. You'll also find links to our Kofi Bitcoin swag store and that aforementioned Mastodon server. Scrolling on my right is the list of amazing charged up supporters and shout outs go out to our V2G Patreon supporters. They are Pedro Mora Pinheiro, Alan Tupper, Andrew Martin, Bennett Elder, Brophy Wolf, Chris Maxwell, Cyprian Laplace, Dan Blair, Gordon C, Hey Esker, John Tramal, Carl Fox, Mark Eggleton, Peter Dillinger, Ray Jean Fellows, Sean Tucker, Stefan Fremgen, Stephen Williams, Tesla in the Gong, Paul Bricknell, Tony Moss, Carl Hodgson, Chris Asentar, Denny Hyde, Lance Schlarl, Linda Irish, Mike Weeder, and Paul Nelson. And finally, big thanks to our off grid supporters Paul Conway, Kevin Barbridge, Stephen O'Donoghue, Jim Burness, Robert Flannery, Aaron Hahn, Ellery Hensley, Rory Litwin, JP Fagerback, Dave Kitchen, Andrew Glenn, Anonymous Freak, Chris and Michael Johnson, Clay Witt, CPU Freak 101, Eric Knack, Joe Bresney, Joe Hughes, John Henderson, Laura Reynolds, Marcel Ward, Matthew Drobnak, Nigel S., Reggie Watts, Will Graylin, and of course, Ian. Don't forget that we make videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday on this channel. It's currently Friday when we're pushing this video, at least fingers crossed it is. And of course, there are also videos every Sunday over on Take Two, namely the Chicken and Garden update, which I'm just about to film, and the Sunday Musing, which I'm also just about to film. Anyway, whatever you enjoy next, I hope you have a good one. Let me know if you have one of these and one of these, and if it's finally working, because I want to know. And until next time, Keep evolving! Mm -hmm.